Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to look at five different order numbers for the 1970 model year. Just to give you an idea of you know what you would what you could have expected if you walked into the dealer in 1970 and you were selecting a vehicle. What we're looking at here, this is a 1970 Dart. As you could see, being filled out by hand, old school, the date, the region, the dealer number, the name of the dealer, street, and whoever the authorized agent was at the dealer. So this particular one, you can see the L is already there. They added another L, 23, color, EV7, vinyl top what was the trim level, and then certainly they went through and for this model, the 1970 Dodge, they were selecting the engine, check one, the transmission, the tires, there are the codes for the light group, radio, protection, GT package, et cetera, et cetera. There are some of the optional codes. The other column, as you can see, there is the actual order form number. And here are some of the other options. Headlight delay, hood tie down pins available with certain models. The molding packages, pedal dress up, brake steering, radio, and as, as you're very familiar with, these codes end up on your build sheet. They'll end up, some of them end up on your Moroni, others will end up on your dealer invoice. So this particular one, check here if sold, there it is, Y14 sold, and this is the actual dealer invoice for this vehicle. As you recall, these are the codes we just looked at. The selling dealer, the route, R56. And if you followed some of our other short videos, that R56 will appear on the bottom of the window sticker. Ignition key, trunk key, those were those components were already covered in other videos. If you haven't seen them, scroll through some of our other videos and take a peek. So we'll quickly scan this one more time. 1970 Dodge Dart. You see the various codes. The next one we're going to look at. 1970 Coronet. You can see the two sheets are very similar. Of course, this is specifically for a Coronet, so it has different options. You know, one option that I'm sure jumps out at everybody right here, looking at the 426 Hemi, available in the RT and Super B. There are the codes. There is the transmission, the tires, group codes, A01, A04, etc., etc., as you go down through it. Other options and equipment. Order form number. Here are some of the other optional equipment, the codes that are available for this model. And here is the invoice for this vehicle. Similar to the other one we just looked at. And 
We'll scan down one more time. Here's one 1970 Chrysler F series for 1970. Form number in the upper corner. As you can see, it's very similar. Codes obviously different. So these are the codes that are available for a 1970 Chrysler. This one, just like the other two, has the invoice with it. Goes through the assembly plant, F56. Of course, that's the routing. And as we spoke about before, that'll be on the bottom of your MSRP label, Moroni window sticker. It's referred to by several different names. The next one, 1970 Polara, Polara Custom, Monaco. Again, very, very similar. We will just quickly scan through this. Now this is an advanced dealer shipping notice as opposed to the other one that was a factory invoice. And the very last one, 1970 Challenger, 383. There are the engine codes. You can see the engines that were available. Standard on the RT is 383. Option, 440 Magnum, 446 pack, and of course the Hemi. Transmissions, tires, and of course you always have, you know, there is always an option to check other. Interesting here, if you look at the uh, rear option on the belts, shoulder belts, rear, C14. So something I want to point out, if you didn't pick up on it, 
So you see RG, PG indicates radio in radio and protection groups. So if you order one of the radio protection groups, those are items that come automatically. Again, because this is an ordered car, Y14, there's the box checked ordered. This particular one has an invoice. Again, point out, as we've, as we've done in the past, B56, that is the route, N, N W L N W Atlanta carrier. The key numbers, if you watch some of our other segments, we spoke about the key numbers. Selling dealer, how it's paid for, and then these are all the codes that are listed on the above order form. So these items, if uh, you're an owner of this vehicle or you know who the owners of any of these vehicles are, let's go over the VIN numbers. There is the Challenger. There is certainly the Polara Custom. There's the Chrysler New Yorker. Dodge Coronet 440 model. And last but not least for this short video, this is the Dodge Dart. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this content, as always, please let us know and subscribe to us. Recommend it to a friend. We will continue to build out content of some of this nature on the finer details of a Mopar. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this short video.